The Duke of Cambridge has honoured the bravery of a man dubbed Britain's Oscar Schindler. Major Frank Foley saved around 10,000 Jews from the Nazis. A statue was unveiled in his memory today in his hometown of Stourbridge. Joining Prince William for the ceremony were some of the many he helped. Our royal editor, Chris Shipp, was there too. When you think of those who risked their lives to save Jews in Nazi Germany, the name Frank Foley hardly rolls off the tongue. And yet today, Prince William unveiled a statue to a man who did something extraordinary in the years before the Second World War. Major Frank Foley worked undercover in the passport office in the British consulate in Berlin. Under the noses of the Nazis, he issued visas to Jews who would otherwise face certain persecution and likely death. He saved my mother, myself. Michael Mamelock was two and a half at the time. Today, at age 82, he sat next to the man who saved his life. If it were not for Frank Foley and the job that he had in that passport office in Berlin, what might, what do you fear would have happened? Well, without to your a doubt, we'd have probably ended up in Auschwitz or somewhere similar. And my father would probably never have left Wolfenbach. Not on his feet. There are better known heroes from that dark period in history. Films have been made about them, like the bravery of Oscar Schindler in Schindler's List. He saved around 1,200 lives. However, it's thought Major Foley saved around 10,000. I think it's up to us to make sure our country remembers Frank Foley and globally people know about the enormous actions, the risks that he took to save Jewish lives. A great nephew of Major Foley was here to watch the royal unveiling today. He's sometimes referred to as the, as the British Schindler. Yes. Maybe Schindler should be the German Foley. And the relatives of those Frank Foley saved would probably agree. Chris Shipp, ITV News, Stourbridge.